I'm ready. I'm always ready. He's you know always that. ready. <laughs> hey, can I start with a story? It's 20 years of Tomorrowland, but I want to tell you this because I don't know, things like this don't usually happen, but I found out this, okay? So listen to this. Earlier today, I spoke to Hilary and Chris, and they named your child after you. It's called, he's called Armin Page, and he's now six years old. Crazy. So how does that make you feel? I'm humbled. That's <laughs> incredible. There's I'll a... tell my mom that there's another arm in. She'll yeah. be like, ooh, oh my God. It's crazy, right? I actually have a more crazy story for you. Tell me. It's a very crazy story. Listen up. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. What happened exactly on the dot today, 11 years ago? Hmm. Um, well, you were here. I was here. Did it rain? It rained. <laughs> and what else happened? Um, did you just come back from the hospital? I just came back from the hospital. <laughs> what happened? Well, you had a baby boy. Exactly. Yeah, come on! Wow. So that means it's exactly 11 years ago it's today. Not, it's not going to rain tonight. No, it's not going to rain tonight. <laughs> Fortunately not. But he's here. My son is no here. Way. Yeah, really? he's hiding, but hiding. Oh, nice. My son is actually here. So it's a, for me, it's wow. like a coming full circle moment. My son and my daughter were invited by... Uh, the owners of Tomorrowland to come and w so they're backstage having a great time. But for me to see my son here walking backstage at Tomorrowland exactly 11 years later, it's kind of a full circle moment because it's the 27th of July. Wow. And you know that moment happened in 2013. So it's a special day for me because we're celebrating his birthday. We celebrated my daughter's birthday last Wednesday. And to see them walk around here becoming those little adults, it's just a, it's a big moment. That story yeah. makes it it fills me with joy and there's a lot of love in there's a lot of family in this year's tomorrow like not Shaq and his son Miles I know, yeah. I know but yesterday Adam Bayer brought his uh, daughters to the studio as well Crazy. Um, and there's a lot of family going on like even Mike Push bringing his son in I, I like this the evolution it's the new school coming through hey Absolutely. look we've got lots to talk about so let's get into this you started this year off with Breathe In uh huh have you had a chance to breathe out <laughs> I'm still holding my breath <laughs> it's been a wild year for you yeah, it's been it's been crazy. I've been uh, I'm in a very good uh, flow at the moment in the studio. Obviously, releasing some big big tracks uh, on stage with the Bon Jovi, uh, the David Guetta track now that's uh, that just came out. Um, can I can I pause you there? Sure. Can I say Hardwell? Yeah, Hardwell. Well, that hasn't even come out yet. So so what do you want to say about? Because I know what he said yesterday. What do you want to say about that collaboration? Um, it's insane. I mean, we're we're finally coming home back to trance, I guess. Um, and uh, it's a perfect mix of his world and my world, I think. And uh, I'm really, really proud of that track. It's like I see people with holding, holding up signs in the crowd requesting the track already. So that means it's, it's kind of buzzing. Follow the light. It's coming. Follow the light. It's uh, coming. September, just so you know. And I'm going to play it in my set tonight. I'll promise. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Okay. So well, let's talk about your main stage uh, weekend one guest that you invited onto the stage, um, also known as Pendulum, also known as Rob Swire. So talk to us about that. That's kind of random, right? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> no, um, uh, Rob and I met uh, more than a year ago, I think, and uh, we did a version of this track, Sound of You. There's a club mix of it, which I've been playing a lot in my sets as well. Um, and then we did a kind of a start for a and b version. And um, right before Tomorrowland weekend, um, uh, the Pendulum guys put their hands on the D&B version. Well, the rest is history. So I asked them, would you be up for doing it? And this is literally a few days before Tomorrowland Weekend 1. And he said, well, do you want to do that? Do you want to have Pendulum on stage? And I'm like, it's Tomorrowland, let's go crazy. Let's do something different. Army Van Buren and drum and bass, why not? And, uh, and they said yes. And I was like, oh, oh dear. Now I'm closing my set with drum and bass, I guess. So, and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a highlight. But that was actually the first time I played it live, the first time we did it together live, and the first time anybody heard it live was last weekend so uh yeah it's uh that was a that was a moment because i'm a bit of a pandium fan myself so they don't give studio time lightly and i know you're the same so that was must have been some hard conversations um it sounds amazing are you playing it tonight uh, uh i don't know maybe uh, okay good <laughs> fingers crossed that's what i'm saying um so you you're flirting with drum and bass you're flirting with hard techno because you did a back-to-back -back with kiki uh, ADEs, yes, right yes absolutely so yeah. is is nothing off limits well, my home will always be trance, don't worry about it. I mean, as you heard in my set last week, I started with a beautiful opera track that's coming out really soon. Um, I will always be home to trance. But if you play five hours of trance and you, you have a little bit of room to wiggle, 
Um, so don't worry, I will never leave my roots. There will always be a, a few amount of proper melodic releases. But what I love about trance music in general is that you know you can play trance at 120 BPM and you can play trance at 160 BPM, and it's still trance. You know, um, so it's the mo it's the most flexible genre out there, and I love that. Um, the home is always 138. The home is always with melodies and. Again, I, I don't tend on leaving that, but I just love to vary it a little bit. I know you've got performance to do, but can I talk Esvedra quickly? Esvedra is another... Uh, I haven't even spoken about that track yet. You know, it's the first track that I've ever um, dropped, released as a promo to a few big-name DJs, and I gave it to them as ID ID. And it wasn't coming from me, it wasn't coming from Armada. We gave it to someone else who gave it to someone else. And then people like Pete Tong already played it. And uh, now it's known that it's me. <laughs> it's a it's a house it's a piano house track. Uh, it's a little bit of an homage to Ibiza. It's a little bit of an homage to the special island of Esvedra. Um, it, you know they say it has mystical powers that island. They say if the world vanishes, that that will be the only remaining place that you can go to. Uh, and I kind of love that thought. So it's it's my homage to uh, to Ibiza, and it's coming out next week. All right, there you go. A ahead of your Ibiza residency, which is also exciting as well. But unfortunately. I'm being told I've got to let you go. Okay. Which ki it kills my heart inside. <laughs> um, Army Van Buren, make some noise. Thanks, man. Thank you.